Hi, I'm QDC. What we're built today is the Vezda's BMP1 in 135th scale. The reason why I bought this particular kit was because this was a very interesting um, vehicle for its time. When this first came out in 1968, they had some revolutionary features. Not only this vehicle could carry troops, this vehicle also was amphibious, it had a machine gun, it had a 73mm gun, and also it had a anti-tank rocket mounted on top of the turret. And so it was very interesting to me and I thought, well, I wanted to build it. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have instruction sheet. Advertisement. Lower hull. Decal. Upper hull. Wheels. and tracks. I want to talk to you about a design flaw. This is the sprocket and this is the shock absorber. And you notice there's a hole right there. That hole is designed to put the shock absorber into right over here in this hole. But there's a problem. If you put the shock absorber into this hole, this sprocket will be jammed and you can't move it. So I had to move the shock absorber over to where it's at right now. It's time for me to assemble the tracks. Zvezda has made the track system very similar to Dragon's Magic Track System. What you see right here is a sprue worth of individual lengths of tracks. And you're supposed to move um, the lengths out of the sprue, like I did right here. And then, like Dragon Magic Tracks, you would assemble them together like that. And the finished product would look exactly like this right over here. Then with glue you would glue each individual track together, let it set, and then wrap it around the wheels. The tracks are dry now, so I'm going to remove it because it makes it easier for me to um, paint the tracks separately.
All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is a completed model project before painting, and it's a good model kit from Zvezda. It has good details. I like the wheels, the tracks, and even the gun looks good. I like that too. This model was straightforward to build, and the only real issue that I had building this model was the gun. That was a little bit hard for me to build. But other than that, it was straightforward. So I recommend this model kit for all skill levels, including the beginner. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I'm going to give the entire model a coat of the base color. I'm going to protect my entire model by spraying it with a coat of Future Flow Wax. I'm going to give my model a wash. What you see right here is a dilution of black artist oil paint and mineral spirits. And I'm just going to apply it all over the model to give it a wash. I'm going to make some chip effects. What I have in my hand is a paintbrush dipped in black paint and I'm going to just give chip effects where I think there's going to be chips. I'm going to give my entire model some dust effects. I'm going to use my airbrush and tint the entire model with a coat of buff color. I'm going to add some heavy mud effects. What you see right here is a dilution of yellow glue and water. And what over here is a bottle of tile grout. And what I'm going to do is, to simulate heavy mud effects, I'm going to brush on the glue on places where I want mud. And then after that, I'm going to simply sprinkle on the towel grout. I finished painting the included figure from the model kit. And this figure from Zabeza, it's not the best, but I managed to make it look good. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this entire model kit. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting, and it's a very good um, paint job that I've done. I like the way I put on the mud effects. And the overall general weathering that I've done on this model really is nice. It really brings out the nice details of this model kit from Zvezda. Um, this is a really good model kit. Um, I like this particular model kit from Zvezda and I have no complaints about it. Very nice. That completes this model project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. 
I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there is a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching. And always, please, have a great day.